Hi Taurus, welcome to your November love reading. This is a bonus love reading. Um, I hope this video finds you well. Let, we're going to just dive right into the reading. I pulled two cards for you Taurus. Um, one card is telling me your current situation and then the other one is giving you advice, some guidance, okay? Alright, so what I got, I've been studying the cards already. I pulled them, studying them. And I got that you, Taurus, I feel like you're no longer waiting for a two of cups, like a connection, to make a connection with someone. Um, like you're not waiting for love anymore. I feel like you you are moving in a, a, a positive direction. Like you are focusing on being single like your singlehood but I mean that's cool but I, I feel like you're taking on the king of swords and you're like cutting people off like you're not even trying to date that's what's happening that's where you are right now Taurus but there is well I mean I'm also seeing with you cutting things off, you kind of just focusing only on, you know, yourself and being single. There's nothing wrong with that. But I see someone is trying to offer you some sort of connection. Which I feel like at once upon a time, that's what you wanted. You were waiting for love. You were looking for love. Because for you to just withdraw from that, no longer waiting. It's to it, it it's taken too long. So you said, forget it. I'm just gonna be single and happy and wonderful and luxurious and fabulous. But I don't think that's what you want entirely. But someone is offering you a commitment here. Um, could be an Aries. I'm sorry, that's not an Aries. Could be a Taurus. Um, could be some a water sign. Another Taurus, a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person, oh, fire, they could be fire too. So this person, I feel, they do feel defeated with offering you this. They are trying to be victorious. But I think you're kind of giving them the cold shoulder. I have the two of swords here, like you're blocking them. But I think you're blocking everybody. You're blocking, you're cutting out the three of cups. Like I'm not going on any more dates. I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm not reuniting with people from the past. All that stuff, right? You're blocking this. So anything that comes up or pops up out of the tower here, anything that pops up all of a sudden out of the blue, something you didn't expect, I think you're just, you're like, no. You're going to be thinking the worst of it. And by thinking the worst of it, I think you just block it so that you don't see you're not trying to see, even with the Knight of Swords in reverse, it's like something, like a big change is here, but you're not seeing it. I mean, wow, someone's trying to offer you a cup of love, a commitment at that. But you're, you're like, no, I'd rather be single. I'm out. I'm done waiting. Okay, well, your advice, Taurus, is the Temperance card. The temperance card, I feel like it's here, is telling you to find balance, to choose something in moderation. Like really weigh your options carefully. I feel like you're on like one end of the spectrum or the other. Either I'm going to date and I'm going to put myself out there or I'm not. I think you should be somewhere in the middle. I think you should focus on yourself, be happy in your singlehood, but be open to dating. Because I think that's what you want. Because you wanted it before. It was taking too long, so you're like, I'm out, I'm withdrawing from this. Yeah, I, I think you... I have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is like a new beginning. Something prosperous is here. With moderation, you can accomplish this. Um, I believe you have the willpower to keep this going. Taurus, this is what you want. 
release the burdens i do see you 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 are focused on the past that's what i'm getting i got that i'm like well why does taurus you know want to just be single something is taking too long something never showed up or something of that nature right and you're dwelling on this maybe it was a person he waited too long to come to you or she waited too long to come to you and now you're just like i'm i'm out Why do I feel like you're going to make a person work for it? <laughs> I mean, I get it. But don't make them work too hard because nobody wants to... Do you want someone to do that to you? Like, do you want someone making you, you know, bleed and sweat before they can... You could actually consider them? I get that from you. I don't even see that here, but I feel like... If someone does come along, it's like they have to go through this obstacle course. Because you're, you're guarded. you got the two of swords. You're, gu you're guarded here. It doesn't have to be that way. I think you should do things in moderation. Focus on yourself, but be open to love. I think that's pretty cutthroat. Open, be open to love, but like consider, I mean, take care of yourself. Like find happiness and joy where you are currently in your life. And I feel like all this will come along. Yeah. You possibly you could have dealt with someone. Um, an Aries person who was selfish. Or they could have Aries in their chart, but like some sort of emperor, authority figure person. I don't know. You dealt with someone who was selfish. Um mm, yeah. They were just shallow ignorant i don't know you dealt with somebody you're like mm -mm. all right taurus that's all i have for you so good luck with this good luck with your singlehood and being open to love um yeah so subscribe to the channel give me a like if you resonate with this video so that it can circulate throughout the youtube world um if you want to go deeper into this situation, this you know the person you were dealing with, um, anything could be anything. Um, I do personal readings. Everything is in the description. Let me know. And that's all I have for you. Okay, I will see you guys soon. Deuces.